Hey there, I'm going to make a little tutorial about timing in Maximus P5. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is make a new object, and I'm going to call it Transport. And it's going to have a lot of outs and stuff, but well, the neat thing is, is that when we double click it, um, we get this, the Global Transport. And this is something that is already set up for you. You don't have to do this if you just make a transport object. It synced, it is, it is related to this global transport that Maximus P already has made. So that is awesome. So you, it's even got like a tap tempo in there. You can see how the tempo is going. You see 4 4 time. Okay. And you know, you can see you can, you can turn on from here. You can stop it. You can rewind it. All that sort of thing. So it's, we can just put this, let's just put it here in the corner. Okay. So, and how to make we transport go in the patch? Well, we make a toggle and we make it big and we put it right there and then we connect it. It has to be big because that's just, that's just important. It's just very important. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate this by making a synced delay. Cause that's all I ever do is make delays and loops. All you ever need, in my opinion. Oops, what am I doing now? Okay, in and out, and make a little tape delay. Tape in, whoops, 1000, and tape out. Reader head, Not don't need to specify a value just yet. Okay, so we got in and out. Uh, hook this up. Hook the microphone to this and this to the speakers and make a little bit of feedback so multiply object multiply that sound by let's reduce it so it's 0.6 that'll be a good amount of feedback all right so let's see, I'm gonna turn on my noise maker, my awesome rhythm machine, and let's see, there we go. Let's see how that sounds. Switches. Yes, this is the second SK1. Okay, so let's turn this off. Um, oops. what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste into here something that I already made because this takes a little while to set up. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. So what this is, is just messages. These are just messages with this certain value written in. So that is like one, one in refers to one whole note. So it's like one over one. And this is like one over four. So it's a quarter note, one over eight, 16th note, one over 16 or just say eighth note, sixteenth note, uh, and this is a quarter note dotted. It is, uh, but it's longer than a quarter note. It's like fifty percent longer. Uh, quarter note triplet, so it's like three in the place of two. I think it is. Eighth note dotted. Eighth note triplet. Okay, and I'll demonstrate this. So the thing is that Max, not all the objects in Max can understand these numbers. So we use something like a translate, the translate object here. And it's going to translate the note values into milliseconds. And then um, the object that's going to let's see, what are we going to do? Let's just use a, a really basic object, the signal object. Signal, just sig with a tilde. And yeah, plug that right in there. It's going to tell it. Probably don't even need to use it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't need to use it at all. We could probably, let's just plug it straight in. That's simpler. All right, so let's turn this on. And if you can hear the beat machine, okay, I'm gonna try to sync this. All right, now turn on the audio. And do a quarter, 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 quarter. There we go, there we go, there we go. So, 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 so,
I got a fancy and I got a fancy and dotted 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 and There you have it, some awesome time syncing. You can sync just about anything using this method. It is awesome. I love it. I just, I actually just discovered it myself. I used to use Maximus P4. I didn't know this existed until today. I am pleased. Okay, I'll see you later.